a Charlie Sheen shocker. Tonight, the actor's stunning statements on 9-11. Maybe the airplanes did not take down the Twin Towers. And maybe the government is covering it all up. Taking over four uh, commercial airliners and hitting 75% of their targets, that feels like a conspiracy theory. Showbiz Tonight investigates the startling allegations. Of course, uh, you remember where you were on September 11th. Oh, absolutely, AJ. I was at work at CNN in Atlanta, and I remember being in complete and utter shock and dismay. Yeah, I was uh, working as well here in New York City, and like most people, just thinking this is absolutely unbelievable. Well, there's another thing that you may not believe about September 11th and what someone is saying. Charlie Sheen, star of CBS's successful sitcom Two and a Half Men, says point blank, 9-11, the Pentagon, the World Trade Center, all a cover-up. Is this for real? Well, Showbiz Tonight has the tape that has people asking, what's the truth? The more you look at stuff, especially uh, specific incidents, specific events um, in or uh, around the fateful day, it just, um, it just raises a lot of questions. Charlie Sheen has his own questions about 9-11, and Showbiz Tonight has obtained the explosive interview from the radio show of fringe journalist Alex Jones. Sheen normally gets laughs as The Bachelor on the hit CBS sitcom Two and a Half Men. Wow. You're even better than a dog. But now, Sheen is courting controversy by questioning the official story on 9-11. We're not the conspir conspiracy theorists on this particular issue, you know? It seems to me like, you know, 19 amateurs with box cutters taking over four uh, commercial airliners and hitting 75% of their targets that feels like a conspiracy theory. So what exactly are Sheen's questions about 9-11? For one, Sheen is questioning the official story of what caused the World Trade Center collapse, that the impact of the two planes caused fires that weakened the building's support columns. In the interview, Sheen says he wondered if the buildings could have been brought down by a deliberate, yes, deliberate implosion. I saw the South Tower hit live. Um, that famous wide shot where it disappears behind the building and then we see the tremendous fireball. And there was just a, there was a feeling that uh, it just didn't look, how do I say this, um, didn't look like a, any commercial jetliner I've <laughs> flown on any time in my life. Um, and then when the buildings came down, later on that day I was with my brother I was, and I said, hey, ca call me insane. But did it sort of look like those buildings came down in a, in a controlled demolition? Sheen is also questioning how a commercial airliner could have hit the Pentagon. Show us this incredible maneuvering. Just show it to us. Just show us, you know, how this particular plane pulled off these maneuvers. What was it, a 270-degree turn at 500 miles an hour, descending 7,000 feet in two and a half minutes, skimming across the treetops the last 500 meters, you can't four feet hold. off the ground. Sheen also jumped on a favorite target of 9-11 conspiracy theorists, President Bush. Sheen questions why the president, after an aide told him about the attacks, continued with his Florida school appearance. It would seem to me that uh, upon the, the, the revelation of that news, that the Secret Service would grab the president and remove him um, as if he were on fire from that room. Ever since that horrible day, conspiracy theories about the attacks have spread far and wide through the Internet. As writer Webster Tarpley tells Showbiz Tonight, Sheen is not alone in his opinions. There was a Zogby poll that was carried out last August, actually August of 2004, by now, which showed that about 50% of the people in New York City believed that top government officials had knowledge in advance of what was going to happen. Still, it's safe to say that most experts and most Americans place the blame for 9-11 only on Osama bin Laden and al-Qaeda, not the U.S. government. Even she knows his comments may not go over well with many people. And I'm sure I'm being demonized across the nation by, you know, all of the uh, people that do that sort of thing. 
So what exactly should we make about Charlie Sheen's stunning comments? Let's get right into it now. Joining me live for, from Chicago for the Showbiz Newsmaker interview is Nicole Rittenmeyer. She's the supervising producer for the National Geographic Channel's miniseries Inside 9-11. And live in St. Louis, Michael Berger. Michael's the media coordinator of 911truth.org. It's a group that claims there has been a September 11th cover-up. I want to thank you both for being with me tonight. Thanks for having me. Thanks. So, Michael, I'm one of these people who believes that anyone who takes everything that has been spoon-fed to us by the government from wherever about what happened on 9-11 is being naive. I, I think there is more out there. When I say this to people sometimes, they look at me like I'm kind of nuts. Charlie Sheen must be getting the same reaction, and, and I'm sure your organization gets that reaction as well. So, so what do you say to people who think that maybe what Charlie Sheen is saying here is just crazy? Well, it, Charlie Sheen raised several. I mean, first, I have to say, Charlie Sheen has really done his homework. There's a great deal, an abundance of information out there, and it's hard to sift through what is, uh, in fact, fictitious information and what is based in fact. But there is a large body, body of information out there that contradicts the official story, and Charlie Sheen has clearly done his homework. He raises credible questions, questions that family members have raised, that the 9-11 commissioners had promised them would be answered in their report since they didn't ask, answer those questions in the commission hearings. And when the report came out, uh, Lori Van Auken, one of the Jersey girls, a year after the report came out, after her analysis of the final commission report, she stated that the report actually raised more questions than it had answered. Nicole, he is bringing up a lot of valid points and, and Charlie Sheen raising issues about a lot of aspects of what happened on September, on September 11th. So what's your reaction to what he's saying? Well, I mean, I, I think that the work that uh, his organization has done, it, 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 we should be asking questions. Um, our program, the four-hour miniseries we did um, on 9-11, was the highest rated program ever for National Geographic Channel and that suggests there's a, there's a lot of interest in this people need a lot of closure and even the 9-11 commissioners didn't say that their report was the final word I mean we should be asking questions the, I think the important question though is some of those some of the issues he's raised are easily answered he hasn't he may have done his homework I don't know that he did enough well, well what specifically what what's one of the issues that he raised that you, you're finding issue with the demolition of the buildings. Um, there which, have, which Charlie there Sheen claims, time. which Charlie Sheen claims, uh, appeared to be a controlled implosion that wouldn't have happened from, sure. from airplanes simply hitting the buildings. And absolutely, and it did. It did happen from the air. The fireproofing was blown off the buildings. There's been tons of research. Uh, there's a wealth of evidence out there that suggests it's been examined and re-examined. It looked to untrained people like a controlled demolition but experts have evaluated this again and again and again and it's it's pretty self-explanatory Michael you, you did mention that you were impressed with how well uh, informed Charlie Sheen is and the fact that he did do his homework which I imagine for an organization like yours which wants people to ask the hard questions has to be a good thing he's not just another Hollywood type simply spouting his mouth off no I like I said Charlie has really done his homework and has been really impressive in fact Charlie raises the issue of a third building, a 47-story building, Building 7, which collapsed at 5.20 p.m. On, the, on September 11th, which was not hit by an airplane. So what we're asking for is if this third building collapsed at 5.20, which the media really has not shown this clip. They, they show us the towers being impacted by planes and the fireballs and the collapse over and over, but this third building with an inexplicable collapse, although it did have minor fires, no steel frame skyscraper has ever collapsed due to fire. Uh, we had a fire in the Madrid Windsor Tower last year, burned for 20 hours, a raging inferno. Uh, the people of Madrid assumed, like 9-11, this tower was going to collapse, and yet it didn't. Mike, Michael, do you think there's been a huge government cover-up, as, as Charlie Sheen is alleging, on September 11th? I do, I do. I think many of the commissioners themselves have had conflicts of interest. They did not follow the investigations to where... Uh, truly independent commission which is what charlie sheen has called for truly independent voices raising questions calling on the government to release information like pentagon uh, surveillance videotapes videotapes from the sheraton hotel and the sitco gas station uh, 
evidence about the black boxes located at Ground Zero, which a firefighter had stated prior to the 9-11 Commission report coming out in 2004. Michael, i got to jump in real quick, because, Nicole, I, I do want to ask you, you, you did mention that it is important that we're asking these questions. Charlie Sheen now, a Hollywood type on board, raising these issues publicly before it's been mostly official type people. So do you think it will at least give some of these theories legs? Oh, gosh, I hope not. Um, I hope it, I hope it, it, it causes people to start reading a little bit more and and researching the issue you hopefully. delve into the research a lot of this is answerable well hopefully people will start uh, trying to get more informed because i think there are a lot of unanswered questions michael berger nicole rittenmeyer thank you for joining us on showbiz tonight thank you